of this kind of extreme sports were pretty new to me in a lot of ways. Like I'd always admired it, especially base jumping and things like that. Always followed it growing up, but didn't really know real people who were doing these things until this trip um, through France and through Switzerland and Italy where all of a sudden I was meeting all these people and hanging out with all these people where their regular weekend activity was paragliding and base jumping and speed riding. And, oh, it was so cool. I was like, wow, I couldn't, I can't relate. I'm like, I don't know what that feels like. What could that ex like level of uh, adrenaline and excitement feel like to be reliving it, let alone in the moment, like the initial moment when you're feeling it? I don't know. Though envious, we couldn't quite grasp what their experience might truly feel like. Speed riding is a sport reserved for the unreserved. It's for those ready to embrace the unknown, as each run down the mountain can't ever really be predicted. Speed riding is for those with a love of the outdoors and appreciation for the mountains. It's for those ready to feel their passion for true adventure. I'm Lauren O'Neill. I'm 28, originally from East Coast America, Connecticut, close to New York. I've been traveling for five or six years, doing various things, one of which has become photography and filmmaking. Yeah, come on. I forgot my good jacket, so I must take these shoes. <laughs> It's not possible. This one are better, but I will take this one. Just for, for the style. For the style. <laughs> Speed riding, so they basically just use a smaller canopy and ride backcountry routes, crevasses mostly off glaciers in the mountains on skis, and where they can't touch down on skis, they have a canopy to guide, like, guide them through the mountains. Kite surf, it's exactly like a kite shoot, surfing parachute, but very small, so it can be very controlled. And fast, <laughs> very fast. C'est dur dur hein And actually the plan was initially to film on the Cormier side, the Italian side, and then go over to Chamonix and film on the French side. We continued on through the varying topography driving on a seemingly endless road alongside vineyards and harvested wheat fields, 
until with vengeance, the towering rock formations came back into view. They were a powerful sight, a vast stretch of white pointed edges cascading over the little Italian villages in the foreground. Their mystery and awe intensified as we gained elevation and inched closer to our end destination. We were totally captivated by the surrounding beauty of the majestic Italian Alps. The excitement mounted with each passing kilometer as more of these monstrous rocks came into view. Cormier is a little mountain town high in the Alps mountain range and is notorious for its world-renowned skiing and resorts. Here we would meet up with Toto and Steph for an opportunity to document one of their favorite pastimes, speed riding. Though both can natives, Toto and Steph often find themselves heading north to speed ride across the fresh powder of the Alps backcountry. We would follow them on an adventure through the mountain terrain as they would glide across the snow via skis and parachute. C'est par ici Paris le métro. Eh hey, ouais, nous c'est métro, boulot, dodo. One crystal clear day, not a cloud in the sky and excellent wind conditions, with the sun beaming bright across the layers of snow-capped peaks, we watched as they rode over one of the largest glaciers in Europe, laying parallel to the mighty Mont Blanc. Once at the edge of the glacier, their parachutes carried them over jagged rocky ledges and through narrow corridors. We filmed from various vantage points as they floated gracefully down the mountain with Mont Blanc in all its glory as their backdrop. The weather would hold both on the north face of Chamonix and in Cormier for the next four days, giving the boys plenty of time to play and allotting us valuable filming opportunities. Our film from above and below wouldn't even compare to the GoPro footage of their experience. The name Speed Ride is beyond accurate when you watch the footage from their perspective flying down the entire mountain face in just minutes. One's heart rate can't help but increase watching them dodge sharp rock edges and dip through narrow crevasses on the mountainside.
It seems extreme to those of us who haven't had an opportunity to indulge in the kinds of sports that play on some of the human mind's biggest fears. However, if you were to ask Toto and Steph what possesses them to find passion in something so dangerous and challenging, they would reply with a simple answer, adrenaline. Perhaps the best part of it all was watching their reaction at the bottom after they had just completed a ride, jumping up and down with all the excitement of a little kid, all smiles ear to ear. Okay. We couldn't help but share their excitement as their happiness after a ride is contagious. We was checking which spot to go, so I think they're gonna fly over the Serac. So right here, I'm gonna film him with just with the camera for the first uh, first first go, first run. Quatre minutes. Quatre minutes bien sûr. Bon vol les gars.